cookies. If you follow me on Facebook, you will have seen that I got a bunch of new stuff for the new um, series of what I can eat in a day. But these are sugar free chocolate chips. Here's the taste test. Now you all are wondering. Hmm. You can definitely tell that they are sugar free, but the flavor is still there. Ah, that's amazing. They're good, they're good guys. This week, I've had my COVID booster shot and the flu shot in the same arm. I'm dying, I'm in pain. I can't move this thing. I'm trying to move it because they say if you move it, you know, that it feels better. But I'm here trying a new recipe. I know the lighting is a little bit off. I got this PB Fit peanut butter and we're gonna see. I should, you know, would have done this on Instagram because it's actually an Instagram recipe that I found was probably also on YouTube. Um, and I'll tag the original recipe that I watched. Um, you can find PB Fit in your local grocery store. I have the PB2, it's less, like less fat, less sodium. Um, but you just add water or milk and it kind of works, but I'm gonna try this recipe calls for melted peanut butter or the really oily peanut butter. So we'll see if this works. I'm adding some milk to my peanut butter. Just to make it a little bit thicker. I don't know if that's gonna work. But this is a two ingredient recipe. I'm in a mess. I'm just gonna try it a little bit out because I only have <gasps> ah! Okay, so I'm just gonna try a little bit out because I only have a toaster oven. I don't have a real oven. My oven stopped working a long time ago. Um, so I'm just testing out like a little bit at a time. Um, but toaster ovens are great, by the way. You can make anything in them, enchiladas, anything. Um, like enchiladas, you already cooked the chicken, you just need to sort of heat it up. So uh, it's worked for me. I haven't had an actual oven for about three years. And so uh, I really am like a big believer in um, appliances like the toaster oven and the air fryer. Um, this peanut butter seems to be getting like this consistency. And I think that's the consistency we're looking for. But we're gonna bake this. It's a two ingredient recipe. So it's peanut butter and uh, chocolate and chocolate chips. We're gonna, it calls for sea salt on top, but I didn't buy any sea salt. So hopefully it'll be fine. So with the coconut flour, you want a cookie consistency, like a cookie dough consistency, see that there. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not really advanced in the YouTube technology where they have the thing that goes like this and you can see the plate. Um, no, look, this is a very simple recipe, which is what I'm gonna be making from now on. Uh, not that I don't wanna spend the time and money in you guys, on you guys, but if you haven't noticed, I'm a ballroom dancer and that happens to be <laughs> very expensive. I could barely afford a tripod right about now. So, also, things that are none of your business. That is it for the dough. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a lightly oil-covered pan and um, cover the top of the chop. I'm adding some milk to my peanut butter. Just make it a little bit thicker. I don't know if that's gonna work. But this is a two ingredient recipe. Okay, so I'm just gonna try a little bit out because I only have a toaster oven. I don't have a real oven. My oven stopped working a long time ago. Um, so I'm just testing out like a little bit at a time. Um, but toaster ovens are great, by the way. You can make anything in them, enchiladas, anything. Um, like enchiladas, you already cooked the chicken, you just need to sort of heat it up. So uh, it's worked for me. I haven't had an actual oven for about three years. And so uh, I really am like a big believer in 
um, appliances like the toaster oven and the air fryer. But anyway, um, this peanut butter seems to be getting like this consistency. And I think that's the consistency we're looking for. But we're gonna bake this. It's a two ingredient recipe. So it's peanut butter and uh, chocolate and chocolate chips. We're gonna, it calls for sea salt on top, but I didn't buy any sea salt. So hopefully it'll be fine. So with the coconut flour, you want a cookie consistency, like a cookie dough consistency. See that there? Um, I'm sorry, I'm not really advanced in the YouTube technology where they have the thing that goes like this and you can see the plate. Um, no, look, this is a very simple recipe, which is what I'm gonna be making from now on. Uh, not that I don't want to spend the time and money on you guys, on you guys, but if you haven't noticed, I'm a ballroom dancer, and that happens to be <laughs> very expensive. I could barely afford a tripod right about now. So, also things that are none of your business. That is it for the dough. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a lightly oil-covered pan and um, cover the top with a chocolate. But this is what my little cookie looks like. It is on a lightly oiled pan because I thought I was gonna be using the toaster oven, but I'm not. This is what the chocolate looks like. It is melted. I'm gonna pour it on top. Um, it doesn't say that you have to refrigerate it, but I'm assuming you have to refrigerate it so that the chocolate um, hardens. So, well, I will refrigerate it, put the chocolate on top, refrigerate. So I will put the chocolate on top, Refrigerate it and I'll be back. So this recipe is no bake. And I don't know what I was talking to you about the toaster oven, but it's because I plan on doing this other recipe, which if you're interested in seeing what I do with my other recipe, what else I can do very easy and quickly. So I put some butter, it's the same, the same like one pot recipe, it's five minute recipe. I made the peanut butter. I put some, I can't believe it's not butter, use vegan butter if you're vegan, but this is supposed to be a keto meal, right? Keto meal recipes posted this, and um, it's just chocolate and butter. I'm gonna put it in the microwave, melt it up. It's not melting without the butter, so it's okay. A little bit of fat, it's a bar. It's like a protein bar. Yeah, cookie, cookie it up if you want to. Add the butter, don't add the butter, it's up to you. So actually because my camera is placed on top of the microwave, I can't show you inside the microwave, but this is what my little cookie looks like. It is on a lightly oiled pan because I thought I was gonna be using the toaster oven, but I'm not. This is what the chocolate looks like. It is melted, I'm gonna pour it on top. Um, it doesn't say that you have to refrigerate it, but I'm assuming you have to refrigerate it so that the chocolate um, hardens. So refrigerate. So I will put the chocolate on top. Refrigerate it and I'll be back. Now you're left with the little goodness on the inside. Mm. This particular recipe has about 200 calories, seven grams of protein, and only five grams of fat. So I highly recommend it. I highly recommend you trying it. But while you are checking out all of the information while you are checking out the Instagram and um, looking over these wonderful pictures of my finished product. Don't forget to subscribe to The Babble Reel and check us out on Instagram, The Babble Reel Official. Me, Wesley, and Dan will come up with fun dance videos for you on this channel um, very, very soon. And until then, go ahead and check out some from last week. First of all, let me point out that I used tin pans in my toaster oven from old pies that I've made. Um, but this tastes really, really good. There's no problems with the taste or anything. I do think that it would be better baked. So I'm gonna try my toaster oven. 
I'm gonna see if it's better baked. That is just chocolate on top, so I, you know, hopefully, I mean, it's gonna be really, really melty, but I think it'll bake better. We'll see. So, finished outcome. It's the baked cookie. It is still cooling down, but I like hot cookies. So, I had it in the oven at my highest setting because my toaster oven is old. It's at 450, and I don't know that it really works at 450, but like the consistency is so much better baked. I think just already picking a piece apart. And here's for the test. It's really hot. It was in there, by the way, for um, eight minutes. Eight to 10 minutes I think is good. Um, if you like them really like a lot crunchy or crispier on the side, I would add a little bit extra flour, um, but you don't want it too dry. Um, this is, so the bars are meant to be like really mushy. <laughs> it's not um, like a regular cookie at all. It's so much more fudgy. And this is more like of a cookie consistency. So let's try. cinnamon or this here which is you can get stevia truvia or the other kind that's like made out of coconut um a sugar-free sugar base these are natural they're not like um i mean they're processed but they're natural flavor they're natural sweeteners it's not like um like it says zero sugar no artificial sweeteners no gmo so these are safe to eat if you're wondering about that but i would just add a little bit of this maybe on top in, in the chocolate even in the recipe because the pb fit doesn't have any sugar i would add some sweetener definitely it's a cookie um but it's seven grams of protein um and i would say about a third of this i was reading off the ser the servings of each package so I would say in the whole cookie it's about the size of my hand here six inches all the way around it's pretty big I would say there's probably about 500 calories or less and um, anywhere from 14 to 21 grams of protein in the whole entire thing you could eat the whole entire thing it's just a lot of peanut butter um so as far as fat that would take it up to 15 grams of fat which is what you would get in like a piece of steak or a breast of chicken it's not really that bad guys and it tastes super good if you just are dying for something dessert like and you're tired of healthy meals so it's still healthy it's still good for you Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been What I Eat in a Day, a dancer's food vlog. 